Here you see a simple two-player soccer game in Game Builder Garage. Both players can control freely, and the goal is to move the ball into the opposite team's goal. When a player scores a goal, the corresponding scoreboard goes up by one. At the same time, the ball is teleported to the middle again, so this game can go on for as long as you and the other player want. Now let's take a look behind the scenes and look at every little detail to maybe teach you all how to make this game for yourself. Okay, here we are. It is a very small room for coding. There actually isn't a lot of coding itself. Most of it is just in the settings, but the first thing that you want to do is go over to this world thing, and you'll see it's connected to a texture. This is how we get the green floor. You can see that I just picked this, gr this green texture and chose to fill up the entire thing. So really very simple. If you want to get more in depth in that texture, that is completely up to you. And now you can see that we have a border around it the entire field, and that is what makes the players not be able to escape. So let's take a look at these settings right here. You can see that the only things that are triggered are the visible and solid things. It cannot move, and it cannot break or be broken by anything. So everything else is pretty simple. We have four of those around the game screen to make it look like... Uh, everything is just set there and now let's take a look at the players so this looks pretty simple and it is but because we have two players we need uh, so you can see that this is actually the right stick you can see over here so that is because the two people playing will use two separate joy cons and they will be using the joysticks on each of those it is the same story with the person over here. If we take a look, this one is the left stick, which is what you would normally be using, but the other one uses the right stick to move. And in the middle, this is where the soccer ball is, but it's also where the teleport object exit is. We will get back to that in a little bit. So now, this is the probably the most complex in quotations, the most complex parts of the entire thing. So there are three things in one little area. This box object, this touch sensor, uh, which goes up to the scoreboards, and the teleports object entrance. So all of these take up the same space. The object is... Uh, no, let's go to the settings. That's not what I wanted. Let's go up here into the object settings. You can see... Uh, everything is pretty simple. If we go into destructive, you can see that uh, you don't need this. That's kind of a remnant of when I was trying to figure stuff out. But yeah, this the object is really just to, to for the player to see. And of course, it's color coordinated because color coordination is very important because that just helps the players figure out how it works without there being an actual tutorial. So this is the touch sensor. It goes into the this counter node on. It goes in the count up port. And this will connect to the number object. And of course, that is the scoreboard. And one thing that is very important is that, of course, it's color coordinated, but the facing is Y up so we can see it when it is the top-down perspective. So the last part of the goal is the teleport object entrance. So when the ball hits the goal, it will be teleported back to the center, and that is how it ties back into the teleport object exit right there. So the ball will always spawn in the same spot, in the same spot, my bad. Uh, and of course, it's the exact same thing on the right side, it's just different colors and a little bit different. The And the counter nodons go to a different scoreboard. So that is basically, basically it. If we zoom back out, there is one last thing I want to show you all that I missed, uh, but the movement speed for the players is a little bit higher. I put it as 1.3. And this is just so that it's easier for the players to, you know, maneuver around and control the ball. Because 
the the original speed is a little too slow for the game that I created. So, yeah, that is how I made this entire this entire game. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.